Hello there, my fellow primitive mushrooms, and welcome to another video detailing both the culture and units of the orcs. Today's topic is going to be a little different from the orc forces videos I've been doing more recently. And I say different because it will feature something I haven't really talked about since I started covering the greenskins. This little something is known as the feral orcs, and while they are still orcs, I thought they are different enough from their galaxy-traveling counterparts to warrant making a special video about them. So, in this episode, I am going to explain what feral orcs are, how they are different, and of course, most of their special fighting units that are usually not found among the space orcs. I am your host, the green-skinned narrator, and without further ado, let us learn more about feral orcs, shall we? Feral orcs, or wild boys, are orcs who arise on a world that a space-born orc Wa has already assaulted, though they possess only pre-industrial levels of technology and culture. Usually, feral orcs are a new generation of orcs grown from the fungal reproductive spores released by space-born orcs, and left behind on the world their space-born counterparts have abandoned. Feral orcs can also be derived from the original population of space-born orcs stranded on a world who effectively devolve back into a feral state, losing their access to more advanced technology. The feral orcs, while less advanced than their fellow greenskins, do have access to a wide variety of war gear in their armory. However, much of it works only due to the strange effects it has on the mind and behavior of the orc, rather than actually producing a physical effect upon the enemy. While most space-born orcs leave with their war boss to seek out more warfare after completing a round of combat on any given planet, some of their fungal orcoid reproductive spores are left behind on these worlds. If the spores manage to survive in the planet's environment, and unfortunately they usually do, they will eventually produce whole new tribes of feral orcs. Often worlds will be plagued by feral orcs for decades after the initial orc wa that created them has moved on. These orcs maintain a comparatively low level of technology, using bows, axes, clubs, and even boar or squig-pulled chariots. Feral orcs never advance beyond at best, Iron Age level of technology. Unlike most orcs, who favor close combat, ironically, the feral orcs are better at ranged warfare. They make use of crude technology and employ war boars, traps, and massive squig-offs in their attacks. Sometimes, a standard orc wa will come across a band of feral orcs on the world they have invaded, and will add them to their own greenskin horde on the way providing them with shooters, power claws, and all manner of advanced technology to aid in the expansion of the war. Next, I would like to go over some of the units that the Wild Boys possess. Keep in mind though that these are still orcs, so some things never change. But I won't go into much detail on the things that I already covered. The War Boss a war boss serves just as much as the leader of a tribe or wa of feral orcs as he does for normal orcs. However, a feral war boss does not possess the advanced technology, armor, or weapons of a normal orc war boss and uses the best pre industrial weapons his society can provide. The Pig Dog a pig dog is a type of orc odd boy, and a strange combination of mad dog and mech boy, although not as skilled as either of them are individually. Pig dogs are found in feral orc tribes, tending to the war boars that are ridden in battle by the primitive boar boys. Their main use in battle is to increase the ferocity of the various beasts that feral orcs take to war by doping them with various noxious concoctions as well as some of the orcs themselves while he is at it. The Knob Orcs called Knobs are the larger orc boys who are still smaller than the war boss of a mob, 
but are able to exert their authority upon their peers through sheer size and savage nature. They are essentially the orc elite, the air tags, orc nobles and officers in any greenskin force. Knobs exist in feral orc wars as much as war bosses do, though once again they only have access to limited weapons and technology. The Weird Boy spelt with a Y this time. Weird Boys are feral orc psychas, known as Weird Boys among standard orc tribes, who are unique in that they act as psychic sponges, absorbing and channeling the collective gestalt energies produced by large groups of orcs. All orcs are innately psychic beings, much like the Eldar, though in only a few, the Weird Boys, are these psychic powers fully developed? The Brute A brute is one of the bigger and nastier orcs in a feral orc tribe, and usually they operate in groups known as brute squads, though they are still not as large or powerful as the knobs. They spend their time maintaining order within the hierarchy of the tribe, usually by means of their sheer size and domineering tendencies. They allow the other smaller orcs the privilege of hunting for them, taking the best of the food that the hunters bring back. While the ability to shoot prey is essential to the survival of a feral orc tribe, they still relish close quarters combat. Brutes are also used as minders by the tribe or was war boss. They have special orders to keep an eye on the weird boys to make sure they do their job in battle. In such a circumstance, a brute's bullying nature proves to be its greatest asset. The Trappa Trappas are feral orcs who specialize in gathering meat and furs from their homeworld's native fauna for the rest of the tribe. They are excellent at sneaking up on their enemies and set traps for them many days in advance. They usually make use of three different kinds of traps, known as bank traps, firebombs, and punji pits. Stick Bombers Orc Stick Bombers carry, wait for it, Stick Bombs, which are the grenades of Orc manufacture, allowing them to take on opponents in cover and light vehicles much more effectively than basic Slugger Boys. Stick Bombers are used by feral Orc tribes as ranged specialists, though their stick bombs are obviously of much cruder construction and materials than their more advanced counterparts. The Hunter A Hunter is the basic type of feral orc warrior. Squads of Hunters consist of many orcs whose weapons include both melee and ranged equivalents like axes or bows and arrows crafted from stone or crude iron materials. You can obviously guess that their only effectiveness is found in their sheer numbers. They often have to fight predators as well as other feral orcs on their homeworlds, but in a large enough group they can not only survive, but even overwhelm their enemies. Often the strongest and most able orc will become the leader of a squad of hunters and dominate them sufficiently to obtain more advanced weapons and armor, making him a more effective warrior than the standard. The Wild Boy A feral orc raiding party will often come across a small community of orcs that spored away from the larger feral tribes present on the planet. These orcs are usually armed only with the most basic primitive weapons, like stone spears or clubs, since they haven't been exposed to higher levels of orc technology and culture. The orc raiding party will then bring these wild orcs back to their tribe and place them in so-called wild boy squads. Over time, the other feral orcs will teach them the proper orky way which ironically is still not the equivalent to the standard technology and cultural levels attained by the spacefaring orcs. Yet in a culture that respects only raw physical strength, wild boys must first prove their mettle and worth to the new tribe, in a raid using only the primitive weapons that they were first discovered using. The Gretchen Gretchen are found among feral orc tribes, just as they are among their spacefaring kindred. 
performing the same roles as menial slaves for the much larger greenskins. The Mad Boy Many feral orcs have little to no concept of advanced technology, and sometimes their introduction to even the simplest mechanical devices will be too much for their own puny brains to handle. When this happens, a feral orc can become psychotic and lose what little of the rational thought processes he possessed in the beginning. These orcs are known as mad boys or nuttas by their fellows and are put in separate squads known as mad boy squads. Due to their insanity, they can either be a deadly weapon or a clumsy hindrance in combat for their fellows. In battle, they can sometimes start fighting among themselves arguing whether a cloud looks like Gork or Mork, fall in a gibbering panic, or decide to show the other orcs the true meaning of orkiness, which can have disastrous consequences for the tribe. The Boar Boy A boar boy serves in a boar boy squad, which act as the heavy cavalry units of the feral orc tribes. Boar boys ride war boars into battle, Warboars themselves are very resilient and strong creatures, and can serve as both a food source for the tribe if needed. The orcs capture and train wild boars, which often inhabit areas near feral orc settlements. These wild boar-like creatures then become warboars, used as powerful and often vicious mounts in battle. On rare occasions when feral orcs gain access to some level of advanced technology, Perhaps supplied by other spacefaring orcs visiting the planet, war boars will be modified with augmented implants and bionics to make them faster, stronger, and tougher. These will then be known as cyborgs. The most rare and powerful cyborgs are the super cyborgs, animals who have become more machine than boar. These cybernetic animals are then only ridden in battle by the tribe's war boss. The Herda Herdas are highly skilled feral orc trappers who decide to capture and train squigs for their own use. They then use the squigs to attack enemies with their sharp teeth, foul natures, and overwhelming numbers. The Janka Junkas are the feral orcs who have chanced upon a wrecked or abandoned vehicle and are able, with the mechanical assistance of a feral orc pig dock, make it functional once again. They are often heavily armored with recovered spaceborne orc big shooters, rocket launchers or burners, and may be traveling in one of these recovered vehicles, which are often referred to as a junker truck. The mob controlling a junker truck is usually quite small, between 5 and 10 junkas. Because of the previous damage done to these converted vehicles during the battle that wrecked them in the first place, they possess only light armor and may not even be run by the original engine, sometimes being powered by the very crude steam engines, Gretchen-driven push pedals, or even pulled by the largest war boars of the tribe. Junker trucks are also likely to break at any time, making them somewhat of a liability in combat if they are not well maintained. The Squigoth The largest of all the squigs, the Squigoth is a massive quadrupedal beast, although its size can range from that of a battle tank up to the size of a small battle titan. There have been woolly, tusked Squigoths seen on battlefields, but the most common type appears similar to the dinosaurs of old Earth. The squigoth used by the feral orcs commonly has a howda on its back, from which orc wild boys and hunters ride into battle, shooting mounted guns such as the super laba, or their more primitive ranged weapons like bows and arrows, javelins, and so on. To protect their ride, orcs usually add some kind of primitive armor plating often salvaged from wrecked vehicles of their original spaceborne progenitors. The Laba Battery Some feral orc tribes develop their technology to the point where they can build crude mortars, catapults and rocket launchers after discovering, to their immense glee and satisfaction, the nature of gunpowder.
And this, my friends, has been what I wanted to tell you about feral orcs for today. What is your opinion of them and their special units? Let me know and discuss in the comments below. Was this video enjoyable or informative? In that case, please click the like button and subscribe for more content. Thank you very much for watching, and I wish you all an amazing and orky day. The Emperor Protects.